Oh, hey guys. I'm trying to figure out... Alright. Maybe the birds flying into the car was part of the book. But, you didn't need to add the fact that the birds shat all over the Hefleys. Um... Because they get out of the car after the car convenes into the side of the road. And they're covered in shit. Didn't say that in the book that they were covered in shit. So why add that? And secondly, where the fuck is it in the book? The, um, that Roderick pukes on someone. I don't see that in the book. I'm sick and tired of the Dive Wimpy Kid movies inverting gross out humor into the books. Like, this book right here never had a bird shit on Greg Hefley, Rowley, and Patty. Not even a mention of that in the talent show. So, oh, I keep adding gross out gags into these books. I mean, I know that they use words like farts and stuff like that in the Wimpy Kid books. But they don't really go all out when it comes to gross out humor. Like, they don't have anything disgusting in the book. Like, dude, I don't ever recall someone vomiting in the book yet, books yet, or uh, peeing or something like that. Like, I remember in the book, uh, Manny washing his hands and a urinal. That's kind of funny. But, um, Let's just say that Manny was walking to a urinal and a man pees on Manny as he's washing hands in the urinal. That's not funny at all. I just don't find gross out humor. Hell, even in this book, it did not a mention of... Um, there's not a mention of uh, Greg peeing on Roderick. But why... Do they constantly feel the need, just because it's a kid's movie, why do they constantly feel the need to add gross-out gags into the movie? Uh, and it's never been funny, in my opinion. Birds pooping on our, on our, on our beloved, well, my beloved characters. Uh, not, not a fun gag to see my characters go through in, in live-action form. I, like, when I was... When I heard that they were making these books into movies, I was not expecting gross-out humor to be in them. I was expecting them to follow the book and not take uh, a lot of liberties. But these, but with the movies, they keep mixing uh, certain segments from the books into, like, they've had mentions of Twisted Wizard 2 in this book. We didn't know what Twisted Wizard 2 was until, like, that uh, would be kid, I think, 3 or 4. Um, uh, actually this one actually kind of followed the, uh, this, the movie kind of followed the, this book better, other than the fact that, other than the bird pooping at the end of the movie, but, uh, yeah, but, uh, um, other than the swarm of, uh, seagulls, Flying into their car and stealing all of Greg's food. Did he didn't say in the diary? Oh, by the way, the birds pooped on us as they took our food. That wasn't part of the book. It's not needed. We don't. Uh, I don't want that in the. I don't want that in the book. I mean, I don't want that in the film. I don't want to see our beloved characters covered in shit or seeing the. Uh, What's it called? The villain of the... Well, he's not really the villain, but, you know, the fat guy that Roderick and Gregory prank in the book. And they go on a roller coaster. Um, second
I mean, yeah, they have, the, they took some parts of this book in a live action, but they actually took liberties and adding some gross things to the live action version. Liberties. Like, I don't like seeing vomiting in a movie. I'm fine if you want to put vomit in a movie and you see some guy pulling his wife's head back as she pukes into the garbage can, that's fine. Or puke onto the sidewalk, that's fine. Puke in the grass, that's fine. But once the vomit hits someone, it sticks out like a sore thumb to me. In, in these books, or in these movies, well, reading the books, stuff like that, gags like that, stick out like a sore thumb to me. So I would have noticed that there's vomiting or anything like that in the books, it would have stuck out like a sore thumb to me. Because I don't like that kind of I don't like that kind of humor. So since it was not in the book, no mention of poop or vomit in the book. Um at least from my memory. It shouldn't be in the movie. It should not be in the movie at all. Um and yes, you could have guessed that yeah, maybe the bird shot on them in the car. But since it's not mentioned, don't do it. You see feathers being rustled. and I mean, look. Look at the sound effects. There's thumping, there's scratching, there's more thumping, there's smacking, there's all that other stuff. But you don't hear a plop or a squirt or anything, so... Didn't need to be in the movie. You didn't. All you need to see is that they're covered in feathers. You didn't need to add the poop on their faces and shoulders and all that other stuff. That's not was not needed. Just showing them being being covered with feathers would have been fine and dandy. And then, um, yeah. So anyway, that would be the long call. The movie. Uh, the Hefleys want to go on a road trip. Well, the mother. Susan Hefley wants to go on a road trip, a family trip to be exact, and the fam. Uh, Greg Hefley is not too thrilled about it. If you've read the books, uh, he's more into a person. He doesn't like spending time with like family and stuff like that, and um, he made it abundantly clear in the opening of the movie that he would um, he would rather uh, one day when, when they're all living in their own places. That they just meet each other on the holidays. Uh, understandable. I wouldn't mind doing that. Oh, well, actually, no. I would actually kind of like my family. Um, but sometimes, yeah, I wouldn't mind just meeting on the holidays. Sometimes, but uh, anyway. So yeah, they they go on this road trip. Hi, hi Jinx and Sue. They, uh, Greg Heffley, uh, and Roderick. I don't know. The movie's just all over the place. The, the jokes weren't that great. They got the director back, the director of 2 and 3 back to direct 4. Um, and the gags didn't really, didn't really work this time around. Um, I understand why they had to switch the um, actors for this movie. Like, I understand why they had to switch, switch Zachary, Zachary Gordon uh What's his face? Uh, Devin Bostick and the uh, little brother and Ro and Robert Capron from the first from the first three movies because they're all older now. They're both Robert and Zachary are about my age, eighteen or nineteen years old. And it wouldn't make sense to put them in this movie. Maybe if they did like maybe maybe if they were doing like a uh, animated movie, it would have worked maybe. But since this movie is live action, they, they they wouldn't get away with showing a 19-year-old Greg Hefley. Uh, but definitely has said, or was rumored, that he has said that he would love to have done, uh, like back in like 2013 or 2014, that he would love to do a animated film of the Diamond with Kid books, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I understand why they had to change the, those actors. But the parents, like... Uh, Rachel Harris and Steve Zane, I don't. They didn't really need to be changed. They they were fine. They, I mean, I guess new. I guess new Greg, and new Roderick means new parents. But um, I don't know. 
Plus, the kid that played Roderick did not really feel like Roderick. Like, he didn't look the part at all. I mean, if you see Devin and Bowstick, and you look at Roderick, you're like, yeah, I could see how they they chose him to be Roderick. He he was a great Roderick. He he did the role well. They, this kid, I don't know his name, but he didn't do well at all. And is it me or does Roderick look, not Roderick, Greg Heffley look like six years old in this movie? I mean... He's supposed to be a tw um, like an eighth or uh, like a seventh or eighth grader, but he looks like he's like. He looks like to be like, uh, ten or eleven, which, to me, doesn't really fit the character. I mean, same with, like, you could tell that. Uh, as the Wimpy Kid movies progresses, I'm the same age as uh, I'm a couple months older than uh, Zachary Gordon. You can tell as the movies progressed, he did get, he went from being 12 to like maybe 15 years old, 13, 14 or 15 years old. Um, I wouldn't mind if they got like a, maybe like a 12 or 13 year old. I mean, how, how old is Jason Drucker? Hold on one second. Yeah, he was born in 2005. What a big continuity era. Error. As someone born... Like, maybe... Six years, seven years later... Than the original... Person? Wait, no. I was... 2003, Greg, uh, Zachary Gordon would have been like five, six, seven, yeah. Uh, seven years later, I didn't see, uh, Zachary Gordon seven years older than, than Jason Drucker. They should have gotten someone born in like maybe 2001 or two, 2002 maybe would have been a great choice for. Someone born in that, that year, 2002, would have been a great choice for Greg Halfley. But 2005, he's not... This movie's about a kid in middle, in middle school. The last time I checked, when I was 10 or 11, I was in fucking... Alright, well, he's going into... He's going into uh, middle school. But the, still, he was... In fucking elementary school, since this movie takes place in the summer, he was in fucking elementary school in this book, in this movie. I mean, seriously, the the age difference, the age difference that just didn't mesh well. I mean, it's just all over the place. This movie, um, character, just the changes to the characters, it didn't feel like this is a con this is a continuation of. Of Dog Days, like this takes place after Dog Days, maybe a couple books after Dog Days, but still, it's a it's a fourth installment to the series. It's not like it's rebooted. It's the same director, so they had to change the actors as they got older. So the fact that they made Greg Greg Halfley younger, progressing the story, making him younger, it just like just makes no sense. Um. It's not a good movie. This movie tanked at the box office, and it deserves to tank it. It it wasn't. It was dead on arrival. I mean, the trailers were okay. They weren't that good. I'm gonna give Die Wimpy Kid the long haul. One star out of five. It's definitely probably the worst movie I've seen this year. Actually. It is the worst movie this year. I'm going to give it zero stars, actually, because 